Hi, welcome back to Art Fantastic. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Wonder Woman. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've drawn like a bunch of boxes and it's just so I can see where I want to draw everything and just keep me in the right path. So what I'm going to start with is her head. And I'm just going to start from here and just do like a circle round. Okay, so once you've done this, you just want to do a line going down and a line across. Okay, so once you've done this, we can focus on doing her eyes. So her eyes will just be around here and you just want it to go up right there and then circle back around and then back down. So right here it's small and right here it's kind of big. Once you have done her eyes, you just want to do her eyeball. Her eyebrows are really close to her eyes because she's frowning. So once you've done this, we can focus on her nose. So her nose is just around here. And you just want it to, uh, to do a line right there. You don't even need to do this line, it's just to help. And then you just want to, on the other side, do a line right here. And then it goes back out. Once you've done her nose, it should look like this. And you just want to now do her mouth. So her mouth is kind of open because she's like fighting. And you just kind of want to do two lines like this, like two bumps, and then just flatten it out a bit. Once we've done this, we can just fix her face because it's a bit too big at the moment. With her face we can now move on to doing this crown she has right here well it's not really a crown it's more like a bandana I don't really know what to call it so you want to go down like this and then you want to go back up so it's like doing a bird but really big and then right here you want it to go up doesn't matter if you go outside of her head because we have her hair yet and then after doing this you just want it to go upwards Okay, so once we've done this, we can then move on to doing her hair. So her hair isn't split in the middle, it's split on the side. So you can just start by doing a line right here. You want it to be kind of curved. big there's so much of it and it's really curly so I'm going to finish it off in a minute after doing her body so I can see where to place it so what you want to do now is you just want to do her neck and once you've done her neck we can now focus on doing her shoulders her hands are going to be crossed so what you want to do is we want to just put her hand, her arm I mean, all the way down like this. And then right here you just want to have another line that comes in. And this line is just going to be the arm that crosses over on this side. Once you have done the arms and you're happy with how they look, we can now move on to doing these armbands. And the armbands, you want them to be slightly bigger than the arm, just so we can see that it's actually something on her arm. And you just want it to go off to the side, on both sides, like this. 
and then after doing that you just want it to go down and then back up into the middle and then back up again so it kind of goes down up down up okay so then once you've doubled these up you just want to make this go into like a triangle <laughs> Okay, so what I've done right here is just add a bit of detail and I've just done a bunch of little lines and once I've done that I'm just going to finish off the arm. Just make sure when you're finishing off the arm it kind of gets thinner towards the end. At the top right here you just want to do a line like this and then it goes down and then it goes back off and off again. And it's like that on both of them. Okay, so once you have finished doing the arms, you just want to do the hands. So on for the hands, you just want to start from here, and then you want them to go upwards like this. So it's kind of just like a square, but you just want to dent it a bit right here. Once you've done that dent, you just want to come from here, and then you just want to just show a little bit of her finger and now focus on this part so she kind of has like a brown thing wrapping around her hands so you just want to show it that it's there so you're just going to do a line like this and then you also just want to do a couple of lines down here just overlapping each other it's kind of like you're doing a bandage but it's going to be a brown the thing you want to do is this armband right here it's on her arm and it's kind of like this but a little bit bigger so we're going to make it go up like this and then all the way down kind of dips a lot like this and then afterwards you just want it to go up and then back down right here you just want it to go into one big point and it kind of matches these two as well. Also, before I continue, is just make sure it looks like it's on her arm and it's not too straight. Okay, so I'm going to start by drawing the costume right here. And you just, this is her arm. And you just want to draw like a point. And then just curve it around. From here, you just want to do her body. And right here it kind of goes into a point, like a long point. Once you've done that, we can just go on to doing a line across. And then it goes down. The peak you want it to be bigger than these two pieces. It doesn't matter if it's different on both sides because it's not supposed to hang exactly the same because she's moving and stuff. You want to do a line right here and then you just want it to go down. And then you want it to go down again so that you want it to meet up into the middle. And you want to do the same thing on this side. And that you want to do some little lines just so it looks like a skirt. Add a bit of detail right here because you just want to do a line there and a line right here and then you want it to go back up. Make sure everything's curved a little bit because she's wearing it. And then in the middle right here you want these to join up into a peak and then you want a piece right here to go into the middle. And you just double everything up. As for the rest of the costume, you just want to do some little lines going off to the side and into the middle. Okay, so once you have done all of that detail, you just want to go back to this hairband and you just want to draw the star. So the hairband, I've done it like the old Wonder Woman's hairband because I prefer it but I'm going to do the star like the new one so I'm kind of just mixing them both together 
um, but you can do whatever one you want. And you just want to do a cross like this. And once you've done that, you just want to do some little lines on the side. And then it will look like a star. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to finish off her hair and just add some detail around. <laughs> Okay, so what I did for the extra detail is I just added a couple of lines here and then some frown marks. Um, but that's pretty much it. You have completely finished the drawing. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any more suggestions on drawings that you'd like me to try and draw for you next time, then you can put them in the comment section and I'll try and draw them for you. If you want to see the colouring of this drawing, then just check back in part two. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.